Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Silver 3D Bio MLA filament. Um, they actually sent me this filament a couple weeks ago, but ever since coronavirus hit, everything's been going on. Just getting to it now. Anyways, this bio filament sounds pretty cool. They're marketing it towards a, uh, a replacement to PLA. They're advertising that this is uh, biodegradable, it's FDA compliant, it's using a non-toxic materials it actually sounds really interesting what i'm envisioning that i can make with this is like a cup or eating utensils something along those lines that normally you wouldn't be able to with abs or pla plastic so a couple things with it this is with 1.75 millimeter white filament nozzle should be heated up to 220 to 260 degrees celsius which is a little bit higher than PLA filament. Pretty comparable range to ABS. The base plate, you do want to have a heated base plate for this filament. It's 60 degrees to 80 degrees, which is, again, comparable to ABS filament, which PLA, you don't really need a heated base plate. Again, this is supposed to be an alternative to PLA. Then, yeah, we'll just be testing this out, see how it goes. All right, so I did a couple test prints yesterday and I'm excited to share the results of this Silver 3D's Bio MLA filament. So as with 3D printing in general, nothing works the first time. It's a lot of trial and error. First couple prints were not successful. I mean, this is how the 3D Benchy looked for the first try. I had the settings too low and the speed too fast and the temperature too low, but it was within the range of where they had the nozzle said to be between 220 to 260. First test print, I tried it at 240 and it didn't work clearly. After a couple tries, I did get the 3D Benchy to work right and this is the result. Um, and that looks really nice. I would say it's comparable to the PLA filament that I had. It looks really nice. I'd say it's comparable quality to the PLA. And what's really nice about the Silver 3D Bio MLA filament is it's biodegradable and it's non-toxic. So with this non-toxic uh, material, I wanted to try something that uh, could be used as a cup or an eating utensil, something like that. So I designed a goblet in self-cad and here's the result. This print took about eight hours to print and it looks really nice. I mean, the lines are, you can barely see the layers and the lines look really crisp, like on the corners of the straight pieces. Came out really nice. So that's something that's really cool that I like about this filament is they're environmentally conscious that I appreciate this plastic company is um, putting forward this product. I'm excited to see what they come out with next. Uh, I checked out their website. They don't have this up listed yet, but be sure to check out when this product does launch. So I want to give a shout out to Silver 3D for sending me this filament to try out and I think that's a review.